Hey guys, we got a Cruiser's Yachts here, a uh, 2020 model. We've got twin 8.2 stern drives that are having an overheat problem. Now they've specified that it's specifically the port engine that overheats continuously. Uh, but it looks like when we get into this boat that somebody's also been working on the starboard motor at one point as well. Now this 8.2 issue is starting to occur more in the field. I've seen it on probably four or five new boats or newer boats and they seem to all be okay, in the 2016 to 2019 range. That uh, seems to be having some problems. All kinds of outlets. We're going to take a look. Customer complaint of overheat on port engine. So let's see what we got. Doesn't look like any codes. So let's take a look down in the engine room and see if we see anything obvious real quick. Okay, so let's take a look. All our power's where it needs to be. The generator's here. I see coolant. Oh, I see coolant. I also see coolant here. Some orange. Oh, there's nothing in this bottle. There is nothing there. Let's take a look. I don't see anything out the weep hole on the water pump. Being empty on coolant is really odd. This one though, I take a look over on this side and see what we've got to see. Lots of water. Ooh, we got a water pump leak right here. Let's see now. Oh yeah, you can definitely see the coolant running down and through here. So it's got a bad water pump at the minimum, but the other one also is empty on coolant. This one is not empty. So why is that? Man, we have a lot of water in the bilge here. I gotta think there's another leak. Let's take a look here. Ooh. This one's real wet too. Let's see if we can get it to prime and see if we don't hear it priming. So I heard both pumps, so we'll take a look here on the engine and see if there isn't any other water leaks. And then we'll go get some coolant and fill it up and take a look. See not too much. Nothing leaking here. Nothing. But they didn't tighten their motor mount down. So the motor mount's not even tight. Let's take a look in the back of the engine as well as the port side Let's see if there's anything over here if we don't see anything over here then we'll just have to pretty much assume that it's a water pump issue and run the engine and see what goes on if i fill it back up with more coolant I don't see anything. 
Nothing back here neither. So let me go get some coolant and I'll be right back. We'll fill this bad boy up with some coolant and see what happens. So I added a little more coolant. We're just gonna do a little bit of slight more investigative work. We're gonna go underneath the water pump and take a look for any kind of leakage, which I don't see. They all look really good. So, go up, let's take a look at some codes. Is there a plug? There's a plug for this. Yes, plug. Okay, let's do a start scan. Electronic build of materials. Next. Okay, so we have an access joystick power steering. Let's take a look at uh, port engine. View faults. Oh, nope. I want freeze frames. I see freeze frames. We've got manifold temp. Engine manifold coolant temperature 169 and 229. And only seat pump pressure 16, 16.35. That's kind of odd. Where's our coolant? 168. Okay. Let's take a look at starboard engine. Let's go to freeze frame. No freeze frame buffers. Okay, so starboard engine's never had a problem. It's low on coolant, no problem. Let's see what goes on. So it's got seat pump pressure. Oh, look at that. So starboard has a bad sensor right there port is what we're really looking at. Let's get it up to temperature so we can see what the manifolds are going to ride at normally. And we wait. We'll wait until it gets up to temperature. Okay, so now we've kind of brought it up to temp. We're at 167 with 111, 122. That's our starboard. We're going to take a look at port. Four point eight four ish at idle. That's totally fine for a eight point two. Let's take a look at catalyst. Let's see what we got going on. So we're multiplying by six percent and five percent. That's a little. That's a little out there. Four percent is what I consider acceptable. So 5%, eh, it's creeping down into the fours. But this one's not. Fuel trim starboard, that's a little high. It's adding a lot of fuel, that's 6% fuel on base map. <clears throat> and we're running 124 and 132 at idle. That's not unheard of but let's see if this thing just keeps climbing let's see what happens it should be no more than 140 at idle on any given manifold so here's what we're hitting manifold temp wise we have about 147 and 130 it's a little hot um it shouldn't usually be this hot 130 is fine but 140 is pretty much the cutoff and I don't think this boat is all that old, so it really shouldn't even be getting into the 140s. The, the, the newer manifold is usually, usually the less it, the less temperature it runs. So, with it being there and our seat pump pressure being there, what I'm gonna do, then I'm gonna run these up to 2000 RPM. PSI that's totally normal for these engines and our manifolds immediately drop in temperature let's take a look at starboard and our 
102 and 106. So it's like we're not getting enough flow on these engines. All right, we're still at 117 on this one, which isn't that bad. And it looks like it's coming down. But why is it taking so long is the question. Is it plugged full of mud? So here's what I'm gonna do. I'm gonna get a line pincher and pinch the lines underneath the manifolds for the drain. And if sometimes if the drain, the check ball in that drain gets stuck, one manifold will overheat and it'll be low pressure. And it's usually um, the starboard one that doesn't overheat because that's the one right next to the water pump. So it's constantly getting a ton of flow of water where the port is the one that's overheating because it's further away. So let me go take a look. Okay, so the 8.2s, the 6.2s, pretty much all the engines made for a certain date recently. Um, these are 2018, so they're four years old. They're not super old, but they're not new either. Um, they had a problem with these valves right here. Let me see if I can get a flashlight on them. So this valve right here, they had an issue with it. So what I'm going to do is I'm going to pinch the hose off underneath, which looks like somebody's actually at one point put a new hose clamp on. So I'm wondering if it's been changed. If it's been changed, the, the check ball might actually get stuck in there. So I got these cool little tools that I put on. They go down and they kind of get them in the middle. And you pinch really hard. And they'll go down there and pinch off the hose there. And then we'll pinch the hose off on the other side and see if we still have an overheating problem. Where the manifold's just way too hot at idle. So let me do this side and then I'll show you. So here it is on the other side on the little check valve here, right before. Let's see. If we still have a problem. So let's see what happens. This is a port engine now. It'll raise because it's been off and then it should drop. So I'll let it stabilize here and I'll come back with you guys. So here's what I decided on with this boat. Took a look, even with the clamps on, it was still hitting about 150 degrees. So really, I think we've got a few things going on which I'd like to haul out for. I think it's got a partial restriction in the inlet but I'll only be able to know once we haul the boat out and check it because when you try to take a water pump off with a stern drive in the water, it's just dumping water. Uh, it did get up to 10 PSI. So what I'm thinking to do first is because this coolant pump is just pouring coolant, you can see it underneath there. Um, I'm gonna recommend that he gets a water pressure switch for the starboard engine and then a water pump for this engine, as well as a water pressure switch on the generator, because it's getting a, if we run it, it's getting a coolant loss fault. But it is pumping water and I verified. So yeah, verified that water's coming out of the generator, so it is pumping water, so the switch is not working correctly. And the water pump is leaking like a sieve on this thing. Because of all the water that's here. So, we will need to get that addressed. And for serial numbers, I'll take a picture of them and we'll get parts for it. <laughs> 